So why did I join that totem? Um, the biggest reason is I lost like 100 pounds and my daughter was very active with CrossFit for that probably first year or two and she bugged me like constantly, like mom, give it a try, try it, you know, just I wish you could do it and I said, I can't, there's no way, there's no way, there's no way. That went on for quite a while until Jason also was a member of your gym at that point, that's my son, and um, there was a, a, a partner thing on a Saturday and he just out of the blue asked me to go and I said, you know, I'm going to go to get you guys kind of off my back. Not in a bad way, but I figured I would do it to show them that there's no way. So I did, and I joined on that day. I couldn't do anything. It scared me to death. I wanted to puke. I wanted to cry. I wanted to, I don't know what. But um, that's when I joined, and that was two and a half years ago. So, of everything that you've learned in the last two and a half years, what about CrossFit um, changed your life? Um, yeah. I'm not sure I can put like in a nutshell, like one thing, because it's a whole gamut of, of stuff, but it's, it's like certainly has taken me out of a shell, a weird shell that maybe I was in and thought that, you know, I had it in my head. I was always, I always was fat and very overweight. And um, I was never like sedentary, but I just always, just, I don't know. I just, I just, I think what it's done for me more than anything is made me realize that I'm capable of, of doing so much more than I ever, ever, ever thought I could. I mean, down to the nitty gritty stuff, like everyday things like, you know, I was saying the other day, like like moving um, tree stumps that normally I would have to have help doing or hoisting a, a trash can full of leaves and bark into the dumpster that I always had to wait to either get help to do it or have Gary or whoever, you know, do that. I can do that myself lifting big bags of potting soil or that kind of stuff. Um, reaching over the, into the, you know, a, a whole stack full of dishes coming down or bowls where, you know, I either had to wait. So I think it's just made me capable. It's made me know that I can do stuff. Absolutely. I'm really, I, I've gotten so much stronger physically and mentally. So, so if you had to offer a piece of advice, um, not necessarily to anybody of, your experience of life, but just in general, what would it be? Advice as far as CrossFit? Mm -hmm. To just absolutely try it. There is no way, I hee hawed for seriously a year and a half or two years, kept putting it off because I couldn't, I couldn't do it. I, I, there's no way. I, I would go on and I would look at, look at videos or whatever and say, there's just no way. I can't. I'm not coming from, I'm coming from the street. I'm coming from, you know, walking around the block or something. So. I had no idea, and then I can't do a whole lot of things, but I can do so much more. And so I would just say, do it. Just, just give it a try. Just give it a try, and I can personally promise just about anybody who sticks with it for a week or two weeks straight, it becomes part of them. It gets into their blood for the most part. Not everybody, I suppose, but just to try it. It's, it's the best thing ever. Well, I appreciate it, Judy. You, you're a light. You are one of my 5.30 in the morning lights. Everybody in this gym adores you and love you. And thank you so much for just well, taking I this time. Oh, and there is no way, Kim, that I can thank you and Jason and everybody for all you have done for my life. And don't get me going because I... I see it coming. Yep, I see it. I'm, I'm going to let you off the hook. So